Every file in GD script is something called a class. And to understand what the heck a class is, basically it groups together a bunch of other code and it kind of operates like a blueprint. Think of a class like a blueprint for a house. When you use the blueprint to build a house, like you create a house and we call that house an instance. Yep. If you have a neighborhood of five houses all using this blueprint, then you have five instances. Yep. So in this case, our player script is creating a player class that we can use to create a player or players. So a unique thing about classes in programming is that they can extend other classes. And that lets us kind of build up what those classes can represent or do. A good analogy that we often use to teach this is pretend we have a class called animal, which is just representing any kind of living organism that breathes oxygen and is multicellular. Then we can extend that with our mammal class. So a mammal extends animal and uh, mammals have fur. And they also are warm blooded and don't lay eggs. Then we have the class of dog and dog extends mammal, right? Which means that dog is both a mammal and an animal. But we also could make a class called dolphin, which is also a mammal and is also an animal. But a dolphin is not a dog because dogs have legs and dolphins have flippers. Are we sure? So we can actually see this more visually inside of Godot. So if you click on character body 3D in our scene tree panel, and then we look at the right hand side at our inspector panel. Uh, so I'm going to take a guess here. According to our example, our character body 3D would be a dog. I'm going to skip a couple. A node 3D would be a mammal and the node would be an animal. So this is all the same thing. It's just extending the traits of these previous things. This is used to make objects faster instead of coding everything from like the base node class.